thanks for uh, tuning in uh, to my little series, Simple Thoughts. I hope you like the new intro. Um, by the way, I wanted to show you uh, my latest little uh, toy. You can see back here behind me. That's my uh, little Ninja. It, uh, it's only 250, but I get like 60 miles per gallon on that. Um, but that's not why I'm videotaping this for you. What I wanted to do is give you a quick update on my uh, water barrels. So you can see here, I put uh, two more in and uh, run them the same way. But this time, I put a, a soaker hose along there. And you can see that those basically are going to be watering my perennials along the south side of the house. So right now they're they're serving their purpose, but I just wanted to give you a quick update on that. And here's the the real deal. This is what I wanted to show you. This is my latest project. This is called a passive solar heater, and as you can tell, it is a it's a pretty big system. Um, passive solar heat uses the sun's energy to create heat. Uh, the sun will actually uh, light on these these cans is all that is is just simple aluminum cans and it'll heat that up and because this case is enclosed in glass it'll uh, superheat the uh, the air that's inside there and all that heat will run up inside of my home for free and right now what I'll do is just take you through the steps that I took uh, to make that happen this is the frame of the structure I, I built. In this next picture here, you see <clears throat> I went through and I did a lot of gluing and screwing, is what I call it, and uh, used a wood glue and, and screwed everything in, made it nice and tight and secure. Here's another picture of it. I put support on the upper and lower areas of the panel, as well as I ran one straight across the, the center, as you can see in this picture here. Next, I went and put Luon. It's a, it's a thin board. Uh, it's a pressed board, if I'm not mistaken, but it's called Luon. And uh, I put that on the back and I glued it on and uh, tacked it in with brad nails. In this next picture here, you see that I went around the entire interior of the panel and I uh, caulked everything so that it was uh, an airtight seal. Next I went through with foil backed insulation. This is just a dry fit. Just wanted to cut it and make sure it was fitting good. Then I go through and I caulk it in. Just put some bricks on there to, to keep it pressed down until it dries. In this next picture, I'm, uh, I'm cutting the, uh, the side pieces of insulation that I'll be installing here, as you see in this picture. This will be basically three layers of insulation deep so that all of the exterior walls of the panel will be uh, three inches total, with, with including the frame of the panel. I had originally thought that uh, I was going to seal up all the seams or any seams that I had with foil tape um, and that's something that's always an option you could do I suppose but I ended up not doing it ultimately. Here's the picture of all the layers, all the uh, outer wall layers completed. This corner picture shows you um, basically how I've intertwined the insulation panels within each other uh, so that it just made a good airtight seal. Okay this next picture here I am uh, cutting and prepping the uh, insulation for the uh, installation of the top and bottom headers. As you can see here, I have put the wood across there to uh, be the main, main support for the, the header, and then I secure it in. Next I'm cutting the insulation away that's going to hold the main support uh, for the the cans once once I get those in there just peeling it out uh, You have to carve it out and and get it to where the insulation will fit in Then I didn't have to use any any glue or anything like that necessarily. It just kind of slid in like a shelf This kind of gives you an idea of uh, 
how the cans are going to sit in the, the empty, the space, the air space that the header will have. Then I go through and cut the holes that are going to be the, the main support. And this picture is the uh, dry fit of all the cans um, and everything, and everything's looking good so far. Okay, the next uh, thing I had to deal with is how am I going to get these uh, cans to open up so that some airflow can can go through there. And uh, I decided to use a can opener. As you can see, it uh, looks like it cuts it out pretty good and it actually worked quite well for me. Now on the bottoms of the cans, um, I, I did end up using a drill press, but after after the fact, I found out that uh, a can opener would have worked on the bottoms as well. So if you don't have access to a drill press and you want to open up the bottoms on the tops the same, you can still use a can opener. And this is the final result you should have: is a nice open open flowway there. Next is the fabrication of the header cover. I used uh, stock coil, aluminum coil. This picture here should give you a good idea of how that lip bends over and, and holds on there. Then I just pre-drilled my holes in the aluminum to secure to that header support board that I put in earlier. Next was uh, a really tedious job and that was caulking the cans to get them to seal up together. In this next picture I uh, prepped the, the insulation by, by cleaning it, the, the foil side anyway, clean it, make sure all the oil is off and then I went through and, and spray painted it black. In this picture is the, uh, the frame that will hold the glass in place. And this picture here is the, uh, just the frame of the panel without any cans in it. This is after I've installed the, the header covers and, and everything and have everything painted black. In this picture I have uh, measured and cut out my uh, air intake and exhaust holes. And this picture is the back of the panel to show you where the holes are positioned. In this picture is the cans in position ready for paint. But before I paint them the next step that I have to do is make sure that the cans are free of any oily fingerprints or any other residue that might prevent the paint from sticking to it. And so I used Xylol. Alright, I'm ready to paint the cans now and as you can tell by this picture, what I'm using is a, uh, a Rust-Oleum uh, barbecue paint. And here's the panel after I've got all the cans painted and so far it's looking pretty good. This picture here is uh, of the glass panel in place. This picture will show you that I just caulked everything in and give it a good airtight seal. This picture shows that I put the, uh, the glass frame on to secure the glass in place so now it's not going to fall out. Well hey guys I really hope that you uh, enjoy the video and I hope that it gives you some really good ideas on what you could do for your house. The idea is put this panel on and it will heat your whole house if you build it the right size. Um, this unit that I built, it should heat well over 1600 square foot of house. Hey, I just want to give a special shout out to those who have been leaving comments on my videos. I thank you very much. And hey, I thank you for uh, sharing your ideas with me as well. Um, hey, you know what? Keep thinking outside of the box and let's keep sharing our simple thoughts with each other. By the way, tune in next time because I should have my panel installed in the house and we'll actually have some working numbers. Thanks guys.